All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, look, um, I don't know how to start this off. Uh, just like probably a lot of you, I was recently on a trip to go see my family to celebrate some holidays. And while I was away, I actually had a uh, invasion in my shop. And so if it looks like I haven't got any sleep or I'm a little bit disheveled this morning, uh, that's definitely the reason I haven't been able to sleep. So last night I got back from my trip and of course I just was walking around the shop and I noticed um, just some evidence that something wasn't right. And so I started looking around some more and I saw some more things that were out of place. And then all of a sudden I saw uh, what I would call as best a, is a squatter, you know, hanging out in the shop, trying to run and hide behind a stack of CRTs. And so I was, you know, First off, I thought maybe I was just seeing something like, is that true? Is that really there? But then after a second and uh, putting some, you know, clues together, I was able to figure out that yes, I was right. Unfortunately, we're going to try to figure out the situation and uh, we're going to go into the shop. We're going to see what we can find. I'll show you what I found. And, you know, hopefully we can get all this solved today, uh, but uh, we'll find out. Once again, sorry about my terrible appearance here today on camera, but this has just been so stressful. Now what I did yesterday was I got back, I unloaded some things at the shop, I came inside, and I went back up to the shop through this door, and when I opened the door, I came out here on the balcony, and I looked over there, and I saw something that didn't belong. All right, yeah, so what I saw was something that should be described as scabbers from Harry Potter or something. I mean, it was just a torrential, gigantic rat. Um, I'm sure that some people who've lived in the big city, like New York, maybe they have seen some of these things before, but me, I've only seen like cute little friendly house mice and field mice, which I've had before in the shop and you know, you deal with and it's not a big deal. But when I started seeing this big thing that it first slithered here off the lawnmower and then down that way, and I mean, it was like half the size of a cat, at least. Before I left, uh, just four days ago, I inspected this place and none of this was here. So let me show you what I found. So the first thing I found was this. And this might not look like much right now, but uh, it was a big fat turd. And <laughs> so our friend here left this, it was fresh, and I didn't realize it until I accidentally stepped on it. That was one of a few uh, droppings I've found left behind here. Let me show you the other spot. So there's another one right there. Uh, this is just the boneyard kind of area with a lot of scrap stuff, and it had crawled over here and then obviously relieved itself right there. So that to me shows me that this is a rat. It's here, I have other evidence, check this out. This is a dusty counter, but look at the paw prints here. I don't own a cat, I own dogs, and they don't come out here. So this was all nicely covered in dust, but look at the size of these paw prints. I mean, this is a massive beast in here. Here's some more paw prints over here. Absolutely a paw print of a beast. And it's so big, I'm a little bit worried about this thing, scared to say the least, but we're gonna take this room apart. I'm gonna pull these monitors out. I'm gonna show you what's in this boneyard area. So I figured, hey, why not make a video out of this? It should be fun. Cause I can't have this thing in here. It does not belong here. We gotta stop this before uh, it establishes a, a family in this place. And so I don't want any of that nonsense. And then we've gotta clean some things. All right, well, I had a chance to get cleaned up and kind of gain my composure a little bit. But I've been walking around here, moving some things out. I want to show you what else I've discovered as I've done that. Yeah, after moving a lot of this stuff, I noticed there was definitely some duty down here. Check that out. There's some. That's definitely a pile. And look what happened here. It's definitely been chewed up down here. And I'm not touching any of this anymore. Look at that, chewed up over there. I'm sure this thing has been pooped and peed all on. So as you can tell, we've got some more investigating to do. So I'm going to put you on the chest cam and we're gonna dig through the piles of Boneyard CRTs over here 
and try to see where this thing's hiding and hopefully clear it out because this is disgusting. Chest cam is ready. Let's get in here and move some of these monitors. Let's see what we find. First off, we have a 2530 that's been almost completely gutted. Except for the tube. Because <clears throat> the tube in this one is good. I'm just going to set these down. So that's one of those 2530s. And there's a few more of those over here. Well, this one has a bunch of bad boards in it and a cracked shell. Let's get behind this one, see if we see anything exciting. This is the gross one at the bottom. Got some evidence of some more, definitely poop. Right in that area, a lot of that stuff, gross. Now we have an Ikigami here. Here we have a couple of 2030s parts models. Check it out. I think we might might have found our entry point behind this. We're gonna remove this 2030, see what's behind there. Yeah, okay. Get it out of the way. We may be onto something over here because there's a lot of stuff on the floor right there. Again, it looks like we have an entry point right here, possibly. Goodness gracious, there's a big old hole in this wall, like it dug straight in here. Let's see. Or Let's see what's behind the rolling convention service center desk. There's quite a few CRTs on it. Boards, parts, everywhere. I thought for sure they got inside this thing, but the Steve head still looks to be intact. So yeah, there's something going on here. It's messing with this spot. I don't know whether it's come in through this spot and going out to this spot or if it's using this material to try to set up a nest. So here's like a spare wood burning furnace that was left here when I took over this place. And I want to move that and see what's behind there. Before I do that, I'm going to move a couple more CRTs. I was actually wrong. There's another 2530 at the bottom there. And this is a BVMD. 14H5U, so that's a multi-format CRT, but again, the ones over in this area generally have a lot of problems. And this is an EMAC Apple CRT, that's a flat screen variety. And look at there, we've even got the iMac. That's got the bubble screen still on there. Uh, so just some more CRTs that I need to get these things out of the way and see what's going on behind there. Stuff up here on the top shelf seems to be okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You are not gonna believe how this all just went down. So I have been in here cleaning from that corner all the way around. I mean, I've moved every single monitor and I've cleaned behind it. And you know, I got everything out and I even worked my way over here to an area under these steps that has nothing but toolboxes and things like that. And then, oh my goodness, I worked my way around to the filing cabinet here. And then on top of the filing cabinet is a box with some packing materials, uh, a couple of 20 inch PVMs down there stacked up. But what, what I had on top of that was a Charmin Ultra bag of toilet paper. And that's it right there. And look, I grabbed that thing just to move it to see what was behind there and it, oh my goodness, it jumped and ran around and started rustling around in the bag and I knew immediately that it was the uh, the big dirty rat and look, I, I, it scared me to death, thankfully it did not get anywhere near me, I was able to throw the bag outside and then I had to, you know, do what you do with a rat and that's just get rid of it the way you get rid of a rat so we won't go into too many more details on what happened, but I can promise you that I'm not looking inside that bag because the rat is probably full of diseases and who wants that? Unbelievable, guys. So the shop has been, you know, we got it back under control. It only took me about three hours of working through it and cleaning and oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened. 
but thankfully all the CRTs are fine and safe. This thing was not in here very long, but man, look at that. That was so close to getting inside that door. Those paper towels were stored right here. Holy moly, if that had gotten inside there, that would have been way worse. So, wow, goodness gracious. All right, everybody, so I realized today's video was a little bit different change of pace, and I didn't want to, you know, make anybody really upset by showing them a big fat dead rat at the end of this video, but I did want to prove to you that there is a rat, so I do have a little bit of footage coming up at the very end here where you'll get to see some of this big monster rat that I had to get rid of, uh, but I hope you had fun, and if you did, please do me a favor, leave me a like, and let me know what you thought of the video with a comment below, and I will see you all next time with some more retro content. Well, there it is. It's down in there. I don't really want to show you or get too close to that daggum thing. That is nasty. That big tail. Wow. But it's gone, thank goodness. No more rat. Look at that tail. Oh my goodness. Yuck. It's like, ugh. Oh. Goodness gracious. It's like monster.